So I'm often asked about volumes. What if we have as built data, we have a site ongoing and we want to track what has happened or how progress is going. The, the same rules apply here as they would if we were doing takeoff or anything else. We're comparing two sets of data. So in this example, I have the existing surface and then I have a surface created from the as built data. I can always come into the surface menu, do a simple computation comparing the as built to the existing ground and saying, here's how much material has been moved this thus far. But I want to look at a different option because this is one that uh, we don't get into as often. We don't get to explore. And that is looking at this in average end areas, looking at cross sections. So what I want to do is in my trench here, I want to take the string line and I want to convert that to an alignment in the corridor menu. I want to look at cross sections. I'm going to put today's date. I'm going to create a new cross section comparison here. I'm going to pick the alignment that we created, and then I'm going to assign the surfaces to different materials. So my existing, for example, will be reference. There's the existing surface. My as built will become the design. Okay, now, as I step through these sections, all I'm seeing is the trench. Now I'm seeing the building pad that's been put on the site. I can adjust the settings for this. I want it to give me cross sections every 20 feet. I can adjust the left and right offset. And now we can see and step through those. Okay, with each one, I have it in the settings set to display the volumes as well as some of the various labels including offsets and elevations i can go to the section volumes while i'm here and tell it to give me the volumes for each station so the average end area for these and if i wanted i could do a cross-section sheet There's each section and then details based on the settings that I've given it about each section that's taken. Including the cut and fill. OK, so there are a lot of different ways to uh, to validate what's happening or to verify, compare, update, you know, track what's being moved on the site, including the cross-section option found in the corridor menu. For more details on any of those workflows, as well as other workflows, please log into your My Topcon Now account and look at the amazing content available to Magnet users today.